Julie, hmm? what are you doing here? Where's your mother? Mom left. She said you would take me to school. She what? Where did she go to? Mm -hmm. And I'm late. Okay, you know what? Pack, 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 pack up. Pack, let's go. Let's go, baby girl. I'll take this, okay? work? Ah, exhausting. Hey, yeah, sorry. Yeah, um, you were supposed to take our daughter to school today. What happened? Oh, that. I had to dash out to somewhere very important quickly. Somewhere very important than our daughter? <sighs> Please, make something for me to eat, okay? Um, I just want to take a quick shower. You'd have to manage cereal or noodles for yourself. What is the meaning of that? Jeffrey, the meaning is that I did not cook. As in, I did not make dinner. But I gave you money to do something yesterday night. Hey, hey, I was busy. I had a very busy day, so I didn't have time to go to the market. I just manage. Tomorrow I'll make something. What did our daughter eat when she got back from school? That girl is just as stubborn as you are. Very stubborn. Can you imagine that I asked her to take cereal and she told me that she took it in the morning? Oh yeah? Go inside the kitchen and make something to eat. Noodles. She almost burnt down this house. Sandra! You told our daughter to cook? An eight years old girl! But she said, you take her daddy to cook? Eh? When I was her age, I was already going to the market and taking care of my family. So what is ordinary noodles that she cannot cook? Sandra, what is what? Hey, 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 hey. Please, I, I don't have strength. You see this night, I don't have strength for you. Jeffrey, don't start, oh. Don't just start. Because if you start, me too, I will start. You know I'm not normal. I'm a mad person. And look who is home. Daddy! <laughs> My princess! How are you? I'm fine, but I'm really hungry. Mom told me to make noodles, but I burnt it. Oh. I'm sorry, Daddy. Oh no, I should not apologize. Mom was very angry. Do you think she's so mad at me? Mom is not mad at you, okay? Hmm? So, what do you say we go get pizza? Really? Yeah! Yay! Thank you, Daddy! Alright, um, pack your books. Let me drop my bag, okay? I'm coming to pick you. Alright? Love you.
Okay. Jeffrey. So this 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 is Jeffrey. Mm -hmm. How many times, Jeffrey? How many times have I told you to stop littering your clothes all over the place? Calm down, Sandra. Our daughter is here. Oh, I should take it easy. Our daughter is here. Our daughter was not here when you were littering your clothes everywhere, Abby. I have told you I am not your mate. Jeffrey, I am not your mate. If you drop something, pick it up. I am sick and tired of this. Jesus, Sandra, calm down. I was going to put it away. You don't have to be violent about all this. <laughs> I'm violent. Jeffrey, I am violent. No problem. You will see violence the next time I see anything on the floor. That is when I will show you that I have grace. I am not normal at all. Rubbish. Daddy, who is wrong with mommy? I'm scared. Hello. Don't be scared, okay? Daddy did something wrong. That's why mommy is angry. Alright? So let's get back to your homework. Alright? Okay. Where did we stop? Okay. Yes, so. Guy, <laughs> that's how I lost $500 last week. I was <laughs> mad. I was literally angry with everybody. Mom, when I'm because I'm sure. He paid you. I saw you shocked me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man. But see, I've always told you, guy, this thing is trading. Once it gets to your stop loss, you take your profits. But your greed no go allow you now. If you want chop more money, your greed will not allow you. Yeah, yeah. Eh, it is what it is. Eh, it is what it is. We move. The next one. Mm -hmm. We move now. Where's my goddaughter? Mm. Goddaughter. Goddaughter that you barely see. I beg you, see, let me tell you something. Yeah? It's high time we disown you as a godfather. No, I never reached that. No, we, we disown you as a godfather. When did you, when did you even see her? When last? Okay. Godfather will show. Okay. I beg you. Okay. I promise from now on I will change for the good. I'll provide everything. You go see doings now. Doings. Emu. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, where is she though? Oh, she had um, a play date, so I will be going to pick her in the evening. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. yeah. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. So, where is that um, Jezebel of a wife? Adi. You don't talk about my wife in such manner. <laughs> Wait, yeah. what, what do you mean? Wait, are you waiting until she takes you to your early Are they? Are they, this is my wife you're talking about. Drop the topic. Are they? Sandra is my wife and you should respect it. Jeffrey. Are they? Please. Okay. You'll still be here now. You'll still come complain now. Yeah. It hasn't always been like this. Um, good day, Mr. Jude. Uh, I'm happy to see you today. It's my pleasure, sir. Uh, we have uh, a business proposal from the federal government mm -hmm. to supply 65,000 transformers. And I want you to partner with our company. So oh. here's the business proposal for the deal, sir. Okay, okay, let me, let me quickly go through it. Oh, this is looking good. I'm really sorry, sir. I tried to stop her. It's, it's fine, it's another. Please, you can leave. Thank you. <laughs> so you asked your secretary to stop me. So you asked your secretary not to let me in. Eh, Jeffrey, you, 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 you were here when she was talking to me anyhow. That's what it, that's what it was talking to me anyhow. And you did not say anything. Are you sleeping with her? Jeffrey, are you sleeping with your secretary? You useless man! Um, please. Uh, yeah. Just give me one minute, please. Thank you. Please. Where are they? Where are you taking me to? Eh? I want them to know what kind of useless man and husband you are. You're a useless man and husband. Why are you doing this? What are you doing here? Give me your keys. What for? My car broke down. 
down. And I need your car keys. Take a cab, then. Why would I take a cab when my husband has a car? Eh? Sandra, look. I have run around to do today. I have a long day today, please. I will, see, I will transform money to you so you can take a cab. You are foolish, you. Jeffrey, you're a madman. Did I ask for your bloody money? Did I ask for your bloody money? I asked you to give me your car keys. Simple, give me your car keys. Sandra, I have a busy day, please. Hmm. I would send you money, just take a cab. Please, yes, because I'm in the middle of the meeting. Ah. You must think I'm joking. You must think I'm joking because you don't think, you don't know I have cars. Please, I would send you, 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 you think I'm joking? It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. You think I'm joking, Abby? You think I'm joking? It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Change it. Change it. Change it. Change it. Oh, I'm sorry. I never saw it coming. What we have, you out here tearing it down. What am I supposed to do? When I'm out here trying to hold it down for us. It's fine, it's fine. But didn't you hear me horn? I honked before Tony. It's it's fine, it's fine. I'm sorry though. I'm really sorry, please. It's it's, it's fine, don't worry, I'm I'm okay. Okay, um, you know what? Ah sorry, sir, so sorry. I'm really sorry, please. It's fine, no please. problem. I'm I'm fine. Are I'm you fine. Sure? Yes, I am. Yes, okay, I am. Um, I'm in us, yeah, and my and my house is close by. I could actually help him massage it, please, please. No, don't don't worry, don't stress. Don't please, a situation like this needs serious attention, please. Let me take care of it, please. I'll massage you, please. Please. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Come in. We can lose it all. So sorry. 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 Thank you. I'm sorry. I tried. I tried. I tried all I could try. But you don't even care at all. Yeah. Oh, thank, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hope it's not too hot. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. All right. Thank you. And how is the ties? I feel better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Massage will be your focus. Thank you. Well, that was quite an audio. Was she always like that? She was. She was a nice woman. She was. She was caring, and loving. Not until after she gave birth. You know, I was thinking this was the postpartum issue, but it turned out not to be. I loved, I loved her regardless. I was, I was patient. I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm saying too much. Please, um, no, it's fine. Um, I have to leave. It's getting late. Now? Yes, please. Oh, come on, you haven't even taken your tea yet. Just hold on a bit, okay? Um, let me. Get you an Uber, oh, okay, thank you. It will be much more easier. So, what's your house address? Um. Sandra, it's me, Jeff. Please open up. O open up where? Where are you coming from? Sandra, please. I, I am tired. Okay? I just want to come in, shower and go to bed. Please. That does not sound like the answer to my question. Where are you coming from? You don't want to answer, Abby? Okay, now. Eh... Uh... I refuse to open up as you don't want to answer. Go back to where you're coming from and sleep there. 
Sandra, Show please open up. Up. Please. What am I supposed to do? Yeah. Go on now. Go on now. Put it all on me. All on me. Go on now. Go on now. But if we lose it all, I want you to know. Hello, are they off on? I've been trying to call you since. Hello, who is this? It's Patricia, the lady who almost knocked you over. Oh, 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 I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I was trying to um, call my friend, I was thinking of a friend. Oh, it's fine. I was just calling to find out if you had gotten Um, yeah, I, I have. Can I, can I ask you for a favor? She really locked you out. Yeah, she did. Uh, the key to my apartment is to get all my car keys and I gave it to her earlier. Oh. That's not nice at all. It doesn't make sense. Why would she do that? I'm really sorry. It's fine. Thank you again. Thank you for letting me into your apartment. No, it's fine. It's okay. Thank God I called. Who knows what would have happened? Hmm. Um, have you had something to eat? I could Fix up something. Oh, no, no. Please, you've done enough already. You know, you've done enough already, and I really appreciate You don't even know me. So, and you allowed me into your house. So, thank you so much. No problem, I'll be fine. By morning, I'll leave. Um, okay, let me just fix up the guest room for you so you could freshen up. Oh, thank you. But if we lose it all, I want you to know that at least I try. Jeffrey! Jeffrey, where are you coming from? No, Sandra, I don't I don't have time for this. I'm already late for work. Mm. You that has work. If you don't tell me where you slept last night, you won't enter this house. Sandra! You will not! Sandra! Uh. Sandra, get, get out of my way! You will tell me where you are coming from. Jeffrey, tell me where you are coming from. You will not enter. Jeffrey, you will not enter. Get out of my way, Sandra! Squeezing face since you arrived. Let me get a drink for you. Step down, bitch. <laughs> What's the problem? If I tell you what I'm facing in that my house, huh? you'll beat me. You will you really beat me. There is no off day in that house. No off day in my house. Every single day, that man gives me trouble. I'm so sorry, my friend. Eh? This man is unbelievable. Mm. So he did all this to you. See, the most annoying thing is, before they marry you, they start acting all loving and caring. Then after marriage, you see their true colors. Mm. Especially when you have a child with them. Right. And they know you can't back out. Yes. I'm so sorry. Hmm? I pray I don't end up with the wrong man. God, please. Please, oh, because me, I have zero tolerance for rubbish. Divorce, straight. You divorce? Mm -hmm. Sharp, sharp. <laughs> Better pray. Pray, put your chaplet inside water and pray very well. Because these men, they are monsters. God knows I am praying. I'm praying. Hey, but wait, oh. Sandra, why don't you file for a divorce? Yes, if he's treating you so badly, you quit now. Pick up your things with your child and leave him. Easier said than done. This is easier. See all these ones you're saying now? It's easier said than done. Who will carry second hand like me? Abi, don't you know I'm second hand now? I'm second hand. I'm, which man will leave fresh babes and come and carry second hand? Eh? Yeah? No, I disagree. I disagree, please, Sandra. 
Look at you, you're a fine babe, you're fresh. Well, which man will want you? Ah, no, 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 don't say that, I beg. Please, oh, if your life is at risk, you leave the man alone. Is it by force? You leave him. Definitely you see another man that will take you in. What's that? Ah, I beg, don't even say that again. Trust me, you don't want to be like those women that ended up in failed marriages and ended up dying. Hmm. Leave before he kills you. Me. You're too young. Me. Hmm. <laughs> you don't know me. <laughs> you don't see me, but you don't know me. Me. A man will kill you. Before he will kill you, he will kill you. I will kill him. Nobody can kill me. That man. I will show you Pepe. He's showing me Pepe, but I will show you more Pepe. My sister, that reminds me of. I recently met this man who is going through the same thing as you are. I nearly ran over him while he was crossing the road without concentrating. I'm telling you. Ah. When he told me his story, I felt for him. And then I remembered you. This, this is so heartbreaking, I swear. Eh? Right now, I'm so skeptical about marriage. I swear. You should be. You should be, oh, my sister. Did I tell you that my husband hit me? What? Wait. Where? Hope you were not in. Where, 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 where? Where? I did not enjoy. I did not enjoy. Ah. Eh? Ask me what I did. What did you do? What did you do? He came back. Okay. One morning. Okay. And as a good wife that I am, what you know, we have so many bad wives that day. I, I said, trust you, you are not troublesome at all. I asked him, where did you sleep, oh? So I can be sure that he was safe. Mm -hmm. Do you know what this man did? He hit me before I was on the ground. Hey! He, I was on the ground, he was mounting me. He went, he went, he went, he went. Hey! This is your husband. Oh, God will punish you. Amen! Hey. I'm so sorry. Wait, there was a child there when he was doing all of this. No, she wasn't. Ah, uh, taking her to school. You know, it's not good for a small girl to be witnessing all this. At all. It's not good. Hmm? What's all this now, God? What is this? Sandra, you need to leave that marriage. You, you only live once, so. Leave before this man kills you. I know what I'm saying. I eh? don't know. I don't know what I did to deserve this. I have been a good wife. I cook, I clean, I do everything. Why will you treat me like this? <sighs> Man. Me, oh. See, I just, I just wish. I'm so sorry, my friend. Mm. Why he was searching for the coconuts in his father's goat skin bag, the slave buyers put their heads together and quickly agreed that the child was too good a person to be sold into slavery. Luckily for the child, he found some cola notes and offered them to the slave dealers. I believe that that was the kind of child my father. Dinner. 
you for having dinner with mommy. This was one of the reasons why I married your dad. Because he's such a good cook. A friend of mine actually had a party. We drank. We drank the most expensive wines. I drank a lot and I ate a lot! <laughs> People are having dinner. That's what you know how to do. It's dinner without me. You. Why are you having dinner without me? Hmm? Why are you having dinner without me? Why are you having dinner without your mom? <laughs> Darling, I've been inside the room. You know, if you need me, hmm? Darling. Drunk. <laughs> I got myself. <laughs> That's why I can't find my shoe. If you see my other shoe, bring it up. Jeff. Oh, hi, Patricia. How are you? I'm fine. How about you? I'm very well, thank you. How are you doing? Hmm, I'm okay. Work is doing great. Um, I realize we hadn't spoken since the last time you visited. I just called to know how you're faring. Hope you're good. Yes, I am. I'm just very thoughtful of you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, you're welcome. So, um, how are things going with your wife? Sorry if you don't mind me asking. Um, Jeff, you know you could always talk to me, right? Well, I can't say things have been great, but I'm hanging in there. <sighs> I'm really sorry about this, Jeff. I know for a fact that you're going through a lot. But please, whenever you need me, I'm always at your service, okay? You can always call me and I'll be there for you, alright? Thank you very much, Patricia. I'll keep that in mind. You're welcome. All right, now take care of yourself, all right? Two, bye. Oh, Jeff. Hello? Hey, Jeff. Hi, Patricia. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? Why are you sounding like this? Is there a problem? Oh, daughter. Um, I didn't know you had a daughter, though. Yeah, I do. And I just got a call from her school that my wife didn't go get her from school. And she's still there. Wow, till this time? Yes. I'm in the middle of a very important meeting, and I really have no one else to ask. My friend is out of town, otherwise I would have called him. <sighs> please, could you help me pick up, please? Oh, okay. Sure, sure. Um, text me the school address. I'll be there right away. Thank you so much, Patricia. You're a lifesaver. I will take you to the address right away. No problem. It's fine. Um, She'll be at mine. Then you come pick her up from there. Is that okay? Thank you very much. All right, then. You're welcome. I'm waiting. Text the address. Hold on. 
Hi. Hey. Hey. Daddy. Hey, princess. How you doing? <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. How are you? I'm fine, Daddy. Mm -hmm. Daddy, why did you come and pick me up from school today? Baby, I'm so sorry, okay? Daddy got caught up at work, so I had to send my friend to pick you up, okay? <laughs> Daddy, sorry. Do you forgive Daddy? Mm. Okay. <laughs> Daddy, mm -hmm. who is she? Mm. Um, so this is Nancy Patricia. Uh. She's my friend. Mm? She's a nurse. Mm? She helped Daddy once when Daddy had an injury. Okay. She's nice. She helped me do my homework, Daddy. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, what did we say? Thank you, Auntie Pat. You're welcome, Daddy. Why don't you go get your stuff, okay? Okay. Thank you so much. I'm really grateful. Oh, please. That's fine. Um, I was actually happy to help. She's an amazing child. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I hope she wasn't a bother. Bother? No, not at all. I really, really, like, enjoyed her company. <laughs> She's like her dad. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Yes, daddy. Okay. Ready stuff. It's your book. Okay, thank you so much. Alright, darling. Let's go. So, what do we say to Auntie? Thank you, Auntie Pa. You're welcome, darling. Hope to see you soon. Okay. <laughs> bye. Alright, then. Bye bye. Drive safe. Yeah, you Let me help you with that. Bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Hasn't always been like this Now you got me asking questions like Where did we go wrong? Ooh. I never saw it coming like this You became someone else I don't even understand She's not picking, right? Her number is switched off if you ask me, I don't think she's in any trouble or anything. She's probably partying or just living a reckless life as usual. Look, Ade, this is serious. Well, you're the one making a big deal out of it. You're acting like this is the first time it's happening. Have you forgotten the last time she, she we thought she went missing? Only for her to show up after some couple of days. Drunk, telling her she went to some bachelor's party. Ade, that was just two days. I think this is one week, and now her number is switched off. She probably turned it off. I mean, why are you acting like you don't know the woman you got married to? She should be somewhere with some trips with her girlfriends, only God knows. And you're here worrying yourself. Huh. Look, Adi, I, I want to go to the police. Police? <laughs> police and tell them what? That she's missing! How do you know she's missing? Ade, it's more than 24 hours. This is one week and it's enough evidence to show that someone is missing. Look, I know Sandra lives a reckless life, but she would have called me knowing I'm worried. It, it really amazes me that after everything this man has made you go through, you, still have, you think she still have regards for you? No, she don't. No, she doesn't. <laughs> she would have called you knowing that you're worried. Jeff, wake up! Okay, you, you want to go to the police station, right? Let's go. Fine, like, please, let's go. Sandra's number has been switched off, why? Go 
she's so cute. Go on now. Go on now. But if we lose it all. Hey Jeff. Yeah, hi. Good evening. I was driving by when your call came in. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to know the situation of things. What's up? Still no news yet. Nothing. I've tried to call her mom. I even tried to call her friends, so at least the ones I know. And nobody has anything from her. Oh my goodness. What are the police saying? Police have put out a notice there for a missing person. You know, I was actually thinking this is one of our, you know, shenanigans, but it's, it's more than two weeks already. And I've tried her numbers. It's saying switched off, can't reach her. I don't even know what to tell Julie. She has been asking of her mother. Oh. I have to tell her that her mother traveled. Oh, poor Julie. Jeff, you really need to be strong for her, okay? I'm sure the police will try their possible best to find her. Alright? Please. I hope so too. So, how have you been coping with Julie and work? Oh, Julie went to my sister's place for the weekend. She should be back by tomorrow evening. I don't know how I would um, handle school runs and work at the same time. Um, I could always help you pick up Julie from school. No problem. Oh, please. Ah. No, no, please. Jeff. That is too much stress. You're doing it now. No, Jeff. What are friends for? Don't worry. Besides, I don't have a night shift this week. So I can always help you. Please. Let me do this. Please. Are you, are you sure? Yes, this is only what I could help you. Please. Okay. Patricia, thank you very much. You know, I don't know what I've done. You know, you've been such a great friend ever since you met. Any man that has you by a corner, be the luckiest person. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. And I tried, I tried, I tried, I tried. We could lose it all And I tried, I tried, I tried all I could try But you don't even care at all What am I supposed to do? Yeah. Go on now, go on now Put it all on me, all on me. Go on now, go on now. But if we lose it all, I want you to know that at least I try. I try, I try. I try Cause you don't even care at all One of our sources gave us intel that your wife was supposed to live in a hotel with a man A day before she went missing We went to the hotel for questioning and we found out something That your wife was actually a regular at the hotel With a certain man they claim was a boyfriend. Boyfriend? Exactly. And the receptionist said that they both checked out about 10 a.m. on the 25th, the day you claimed she went to miss it. <laughs> Mr. Jeffrey, I am sorry your wife had a love with her boyfriend. <sighs> Thank you very much, Detective. Yeah. Really appreciate your efforts. Um, we'll come by the office. All right. It's all right. You're welcome. I have to take my leave now, guys. Tearing it down with your hands. 
Sure. She asked me if it means good readers to bad rubbish. But we can lose it all. Daddy. Yes, Princess. When is Mommy coming back? I'm supposed to do. Daddy. Um, yes, Princess. I asked the question. When is Mommy coming back? Mommy, Mommy won't be going back soon. Okay. Why? Where did she go to? She got a job. She got a job, and Mommy will be there for the meantime. Okay. Where? Look, Princess, you have to go to school tomorrow. Okay, we'll continue this conversation tomorrow. So, now, you will go to bed. That's right. Yes? One more story. One story. So, where did we stop the last time? Hello. Yeah, hi Patricia. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm not feeling too well. I, I just go back from work. I'm not feeling good at all. Um, yeah, yes, yes, it's fine. Um, please, please, I need a favor from you. Can you kindly pick up Julie from school? Yes. I would appreciate if you bring her home. I will send the address to you now. Thank you very, very, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Yeah. See you soon. Inside, okay? Daddy, you don't look sick. Oh, I feel better now that I have you here. <laughs> so why don't you go upstairs, okay? Um, change your clothes and we'll come and talk about your quiz, alright? Okay. Upstairs. Hello. Uh, um, why are you standing here? Why don't you just make yourself feel comfortable? Oh, yeah, sure. Thank you. Um, she's right. Your wife. Mm -hmm. That's that's Sandra. What? Wait, what's wrong? We're friends. Just we're friends. What? 
we met at the salon a couple of times. And from the salon to my house, we're not that close. But like, we just, we talk and all. But she said a lot of awful things about you. That you, you were a humanizer, you beat her up and you do all sorts of terrible things to her. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm shocked. Um, I'm not surprised. I know Sandra will definitely turn the narrative. The truth is, I have never hit Sandra. What? I've never laid a finger on Sandra, and neither would I. Are you serious? Yes. I mean, the police found some intel, and Sandra eloped with her lover. No. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Sandra. Oh, yes, Sandra. <sighs> I I knew she was cheating, but <sighs> at least I'm glad she is not dead or kidnapped. Jeff, <sighs> to be honest, I am really sorry. I'm so sorry because I'm I'm sure you must have gone through a lot of horrible things. Nah. I'm sorry. It's fine. It's fine. The only problem I have now is I'm going to tell my daughter where her mom is. She has been asking questions over and over and I, I don't know what to do. You need to tell her the truth. Jack, you need to summon the courage and tell her the truth. She needs to know now. <sighs> but, oh, sorry. So sorry. You need to eat and take your med. Um, yeah, the pepper soup is in the car. I'll just... Let me go get the pepper soup and eat it up with you. Okay. Where's the kitchen? It's right over there. Yes, Julie. Promise me you won't leave me and Daddy. Um, I promise you, I am not going anywhere, okay? Good night, Patty. Good night, darling. Good night, Daddy. Good night, my princess.
She's something else, yeah? <laughs> yeah, she is. I totally wasn't expecting that. She likes you. I can I can tell. <laughs> you know, she's very vocal about her emotions and for her to say she likes you, she means it. Yeah. She's a sweet child and I really, really adore her. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, I should get going now. Um, wait. Um, please, I want you to stay. Um, I could always come around. Mm hmm Maybe next time. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Guy, I wonder if anyone had told me a time will come when you wouldn't be complaining and whining about that Jezebel you call your wife. I mean, I wouldn't <laughs> have believed it. Look at you, living the life that you deserve. So you're happy now. My bro, what can I say, man? Uh, what can I say? <laughs> see, you're, you're adding weight. See, you're glow. Guy, take him. <laughs> <laughs> Look. But honestly, man, um, guy, I'm really happy. I'm really happy. I. I have all I've always wanted, all I've prayed for. Huh. Adi, what is my answered prayer? Uh, hmm. She's everything Sandra was not. Adi, that woman adores me. She cares about me. She treats me like a king, man. <laughs> <laughs> she treats me like a king. You need to see her with Julie. Trust me, you would never believe she did not give birth to that girl. Oh. They are inseparable. Wow. She loves Julie. Yeah, and Julie loves her too. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm happy for you. I'm very happy for Thanks, you. Thanks, man. Thank Man, you. I'm happy you're out of that. That because at a point, I think say she give you a shop. <laughs> and then now, because you were going through a lot and you're still stuck in this marriage, are they talk to you? You know they hear. Are they? Um, I don't know. I don't know. You know, I guess I was just thinking she was going to change, but change. It's all in the past. Sandra, change. She will never change my guy. On my dad's side, I'm really happy. See, I'm happy for Take it again. <laughs> Why, man? <laughs> Jeff! And thanks for being there, man. Of course. Thanks for being there. What I friend. appreciate it. I appreciate it. Just to that, man. Just to that. <laughs> Jeff. <clears throat> so. Ladies! Ladies, we are running late now. Hold on. Aren't you going to come give mommy a hug? My baby. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, you have every right to be angry at me. You have every right to be angry at mommy. But I'm back now, okay? I'm back. I'm going to take very good care of you. And I promise that I'm never, ever, ever going to go anywhere. Baby. You won't give me a hug? Because of her? Because of you? What are you doing in my house? And why are you referring to my husband as baby? Yes, baby. Please explain to me. What is going on here? Why is this lady in our house and why is she referring to you as baby? Sandra, what are you doing here? Excuse me? You heard me, what are you doing here? <laughs> what do you mean by what am I doing here? This is my house, my home, and I'm your wife! Who 
Kum. Sandra, what gave you the right to call this place your home? <laughs> you know, I remember you eloping with your boyfriend. I remember you always shouting. I remember you cheating on me over and over. I remember you being violent to, to me and my eight-year-old child. And you call this place your home. Well, as you can see, Sandra, my family and I were about going to movie. Um, please, leave my house. Your family? I am your family, Jeff. I and Julie, we are your only family. No, not, no, not this bastard in husband's not. So, this was all your plan. This was your plan, right? You make me your friend, and then you come into my house and dominate, and make my family yours. <laughs> That's how you planned it. After everything I told you. Really? Seriously, Sandra? Husband snatcher? You lied to me. You played yourself. Yes. You told me awful things about Jeff, which wasn't true. And you knew it. You left your marriage. You brought your doom upon yourself. I never snatched your husband. I never took your home. You left. You were nowhere to be found. You were irresponsible. Um, honey, um, it's, it's okay. You don't have to explain anything to Sandra. Sandra, please, leave my house. Jeff. Jeff. Jeff, I'm really sorry. Okay, I messed up. I really messed up and I admit it. That's why I'm back to fix everything. I promise I will change. I will change. Stand up. Stand up, Sandra. I'm sorry, Sandra. Okay? Please. Leave my house. Leave my house! Last time I checked, that is still my daughter. And I'm still your wife, Jeff. Sandra, I want a divorce. <laughs> you must actually be stupid if you think that I am going to give you the I already fought for it, Sandra. Just within court proceedings. It's been past six months since we've been separated. Besides, I'm just waiting for the court to do its thing. It's over, Sandra. At this thing, it's over. How could you? How could you, Jeff? Well, if you decide to go through with that divorce because of this, Thing here. Then I will take my child. I will take Julie with me. Sandra. I would never. Read my lips. I would never allow you to take my child away from him. Yes, the truth has to be told, you know? 
with this little secret of mine. This is the right time to speak it out! <laughs> Julie, it's not your child. for a plan B. <laughs> and you happen to be just there waiting because you were so foolishly in love with me. <laughs> yeah. So, I pinned the pregnancy on you. Yes, I did. Because you didn't ask me any question. No questions at all. <laughs> I had sex with you when I was one month ago. And she didn't ask me any question. <laughs> you, you accepted the pregnancy because you've always been foolish. You, you've always been foolish, Jeff. And that is why I found it so hard to fall in love with you. Because you're a weak man. A very weak man. Why? Why am I even saying all of this? Why am I saying all of this? Because it doesn't matter. Sandra, you see? You talk, you talk a lot. You talk a lot. This, this whole thing is unnecessary. The deed has been done. <laughs> oh my goodness, Sandra, you are so kind. Oh, shut up, bitch! Wake up, please wake up, wake up, Sandra! I Sandra! Go for the ambulance! Why are you? No, 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 Sandra, Sandra! Sandra! Sandra, wake up, wake up now, Sandra! Congratulations on your divorce. <laughs> Thank you, Detective. I learned she was discharged yesterday. And she has a restraining order from your family. <sighs> if she ever bothers you again, do not hesitate to call me. Thank you, Detective. Um, I can't show enough appreciation. You've been of tremendous help to me. We are very grateful. Thank you once again, Detective. Mm -hmm. uh, you're most welcome. I have to leave now. Oh, <clears throat> so soon? Yes. Okay, thank you for stopping by, Detective. Sure. Um, I would stop by the office tomorrow next. Okay. Um, let me see you off. Ah, never mind. Oh. Enjoy oh. yourselves. Okay, bye. <sighs> mm. oh. Oh. Another love story? Uh. Um. 
Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's the story of how I met to do one of my dreams. Mm. Julie was right after all. But I shouldn't go. And I'm here to stay. <sighs> I love you too. Thank you. 